My name is Robert W. Emery. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon in Washington, D.C. And today I'm going to be speaking to you about accuracy and precision and the use of the X-Guide. What does the literature say about guided surgery? Is there compelling evidence to give up freehand surgery? This target is high accuracy and low precision. Accuracy is the degree of closeness between a measurement and the measurement's true mean. It's mean deviation. This target is high precision and low accuracy. Precision is the degree to which repeated measures under the same conditions are unchanged, the standard deviation from the mean deviation. But what do our patients deserve? Our patients deserve accurate and precise surgical procedures, accurate and precise placement of implants, every patient, every implant, every time. So let's take a look, man versus machine. How do we do freehand versus any form of computer-assisted surgery? This is a high level of evidence study done by Farley et al. It is a human split mouth randomized prospective trial comparing partially dentate cases with analog model-based guide stents on one side and static guides made with CAD CAM on the other side. And the important measure to see here is the angular error mean and mean, which shows a statistically significant improvement when we go from analog lab stents to CAD CAM guide stents. This is another high level of evidence clinical trial done by Verkusian, and this is the first trial that actually compared static guides to freehand. And again, it's a high level of evidence, human randomized prospective trial. These were edentulous patients, and what we see here when we compare freehand to static is that in every measure, when we go from freehand to static guide, we get higher accuracy and precision. This was the first human trial to compare dynamic navigation to freehand. This is again a high level of evidence. This was done by Dr. Block et al. It's a human clinical prospective trial. And in this trial included both dentate and edentulous. And again, what do we see? Dynamic navigation is superior in every measure to freehand. Now this is a larger study. This isn't a clinical trial. This is a level one meta-analysis. This included all the data up through 2013. What's important about this is that they could break out partially guided versus fully guided. They defined fully guided as the implant delivered through the stent. This include both model and clinical trials. So the some of the data will be a little more accurate than pure clinical. And again, what does it show? When we go from partially guided to fully guided, we get improvements in both accuracy and precision. Take home message, the more you guide, the more accurate and precise you're gonna be. This is the largest uh, study, clinical trial ever done of any form of computer assisted surgery. This is Dr. Block and our group. And this is again, a high level of evidence dynamic prospective clinical trial for surgeons, 478 patients with 714 implants. This included both dentate and edentulous. And what's important about this is that the number of implants was high enough so that we could break out partially guided versus fully guided. Definition of fully guided is the implant was delivered at least halfway using the dynamic navigation system. And what do we see in every measure as we go from freehand to partially guided to fully guided, we have a statistically significant improvement in, in accuracy and precision. This is the same study, only in a, with a graphic representation of all the different measures. You can see the p-value is 0 0.05. And again, from blue, which is freehand, to red, which is fully guided, in every measure, as we improve in, improve in guidance, we get more accuracy and precision. 
This is a level one study. This is a meta-analysis. Included all model data up through 2015. Why is this study important? Model data allows you to remove the, high, high, the largest variable, which is the, the patients from the study, allowing you to directly compare the, the uh, uh, guiding systems. So let's look and see how freehand did against any form of guidance, no matter what guiding system you use. Freehand is inferior to guided surgery. But let's take a closer look. <clears throat> let's see how the X guide did against other forms of guidance. If we look at this meta-analysis, and this is all published data through 2015, the X guide was appears to be more accurate and precise in every measure than any other form of guided surgery. So, man versus machine. Dynamic navigation is more accurate and precise than freehand. You should guide your patients every implant, every patient, every time. Thank you very much for your time. For more information, please look at XNAV's website, www.x-navtech.com. Again, thank you very much for your time.